Wow, 37 years of marriage, yikes. Yikes. So Ken, what's the, been the biggest lesson for you? Well, I think the biggest lesson over these 37 years has been learning how to communicate. And, um, you know, one of the things that I think we have found, being married to someone with a disability sometimes isn't easy. And uh, sometimes, you know, you- Admit it. It's hard. It's hard. I admit and, and, it. And what do you confess sometimes about it? Well, I mean, it's hard, and I, I can't do this on my own. Nope, and you're, you feel trapped. I, well, I do feel trapped. It happened last night. I mean, the disability routines got overwhelming. Ken leaned against the guardrail of the bottom of my bed, our bed, and he slumped shoulder, head down, and I could tell this man needed help. So I started praying, oh, Jesus, help my husband. He needs your grace big time. And so you do? I just, I, I looked up to heaven and said, Jesus, we need your grace just one day at a time. Just get us through this one day at a time. It was amazing. I'm, I'm not kidding. His attitude just like did a 180 degree turnabout. It was just astounding. Maybe not, maybe not immediately, but it, it was pretty close. It was very close. It really was. So the lesson is, guys and girls, married couples, lean hard into Jesus, oh. even when the... Uh, yeah, I don't know how couples do it, whether they, they have a disability or not without Jesus. Even when you feel trapped, lean on Jesus, and you know what? He'll set you free. Isn't that right? Absolutely. Love you.